Okay, we're going to split this would be some car measurements here in inches of a Chevy Equinox. This one specifically is a 2019. Uh, this is an LT front wheel drive. And this actually has, you can see up there, a gigantic sunroof, uh, which is pretty sweet. But again, this is a 2019. This is actually a rental. I'm surprised we got a 2019 since it is mid-2022. But this is a 2019. So a few other cargo spots here. Of course, you have a little spot here. You have your bottle holder down here or for some other storage. Inside, right below the screen, you have storage here with you have a cigarette lighter outlet there. Uh, you have your aux. Let's see, we have uh, USB and USB Type C. Now above that looks to be an SD card for the Navi. This one does have the navigation. Not a whole lot of storage otherwise. You might be able to put some up here. Especially if you buy yourself like a little rubber mat. Something. Uh, glove box. Decent size. Actually it's nice and big. Other side you have the same storage options. We do get overhead uh, sunglass holder which is quite nice. Again we have this gigantic sunroof. Yeah, it does open up about halfway, which is really cool. Uh, gigantic armrest here. This spot here. Put some whatever. I'm not really sure, maybe some pens or pencils or something. And a pretty dang big opening here with two more USB ports. I put that back in there. That is nice and big. Uh, we do have a spot here for maybe like a phone or something just to chill. And then we do have two uh, cup holders as well. Now uh, this one is not equipped with wireless charger, but that should be right here if you did have that, I do believe. Going to the back door, just like up front, you have a spot here. You have a bottle holder there. On the inside, we do have a map pocket there and there. Down here, we do have USB, two USBs. Uh, not type C though. Then down here is the full blown, actually full blown plug-in. There's that is really cool. Of course the other side has the same bottle holder and little storage there. Then gigantic sunroof, moonroof, what do you call those? Uh, in the middle here we do have two cup holders on the armrest. Always nice. And you also saw here in the middle, we do have our own vents. You can open and close, but you cannot actually control back here. Back is a nice big opening. Do you have a spot off to the side? Maybe put like a half gallon of milk or something on both sides there. Uh, these seats do, of course, fold flat, but you can also kind of adjust how they are. Uh, a little bit there. Uh, so you can put them that way, just grabbing this. Or we do have these right here, just do that. When you grab the right one, and then it just folds flat. And that is pretty dang flat. But before you get to the actual measurements, you do also have a storage underneath here, and it can go underneath there as well. Uh, so it's a nice amount of storage in this car. And with the actual measurements, so going up to the back seats back, this is straight. It does not look straight on camera, but it is. You have approximately 34 and a half inches. Then going all the way up to the center armrest up front. Again, this is very much straight. Again, camera just kind of messes with it. Uh, so you have almost 68 inches or so. And of course, up to the seats will depend on how far back you have the seats. And then going from one side to the other, again, this is straight. So you have about 54 inches. That is using the little cutouts there. And then going between the wheel wells, again, this is very much straight. I uh, have just about 41, a little bit less. And then going from the bottom up to the top, I cannot show this, I don't have enough hands. Uh, but going up to here, where it is the most uh, protruding, that is about 30 inches. Go a little bit farther back, where it, it, you have a bit more room, it's about 31. So you have 30, 
about 31 and then goes back to about 30 again at the highest point of the back seat being down. Uh, so you have between 30 to 31 inches depending on where you are on the back seat. And then again, this is hard for me to show with the actual measuring tape, but going from here-ish all the way across is approximately 52-ish inches or so. Uh, so you definitely get a bit more room, of course. If you have something that isn't too wide, but is longer, you can fit it maybe across the back end or the back of these from door to door. So, yeah, you guys let me know what you think. I appreciate y'all watching. Hope you guys have a good one. Goodbye.